Good morning, Patriots. I'm Delaney, and here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, August 29th. Key Club is Elmerell High's largest club. Our purpose is to play an active role in our community and support it through acts of community service. Right now, we're recruiting new members among 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. Join now and meet new people in Key Club and in the area. Explore local events in Charlottesville and have fun helping out our community. Applications are available in Mr. Lyon's room, room 164 in the History Hallway. For returning members of Key Club, service hours are due Friday, September 15th. Forms can be found in Mr. Lyon's room or on our website. Poets, poets lyricists, songwriters, and rappers, you have a new venue and a stage for sharing your talents. Flux Poetry, the third year council in Monticello High School, presents the first Slingshot Art Movement Youth Open Mic. The first Wednesday open mic is set for this week, August 30th, at Monticello High. All county and city high school students are welcome to participate. If you are a spoken word artist, rapper, or acoustic singer, songwriter, to come and share your talent in the MHS Auditorium. The show begins at 7, but show up early to sign up for a spot. And this is the sports news. The Albemarle Patriots played their first regular season game at home on Friday night, and they played a very formidable opponent in Mountain View, and they knew it wasn't going to be a cakewalk. The teams traded blows until the second quarter when Quadre Taylor found Josh Beidler in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. The Patriots went up six to nothing. After the offense found the end zone, the defense found its identity. This is Niall Arnold with a huge hit for a Mountain View loss. And then right after that, Niall Arnold again, this time picking off the pass and taking it all the way back for another Patriots touchdown. They would go up 12 to nothing and put a lot of pressure on Mountain View in front of the home Patriot fans. But Mountain View proved that they belonged in this game and they deserve some respect. Here is Brandon Heatherman in the corner of the end zone with a touchdown reception to cut the lead to 12 to seven right before halftime. But this was a defensive battle and Albemarle held strong all night long. Here is Marquand Jones with a big hit near the sideline. Mountain View would not score on the possession because the defense held strong. Here's Chris Anderson with a huge interception. Anderson, Niall Arnold, and Jason Carson all had interceptions for the Patriots. That would come up to be huge in the outcome. And Quadre Taylor took over from there. Here he finds Kayshawn Allen for a big gain running down the sideline. And the Patriots would begin to milk the clock um, and take over this hard fought battle. Here's Quadre Taylor with a design QB run up the middle to the Mountain View 20 yard line. And the icing on the cake, the QB sneak for another first down. The Patriots would improve to 1-0 and on the season. They will play at Colonial Forge next week and will return home on September 29th to face the Monticello Mustangs. This has been Jonathan with your highlights. There will be a meeting on August 31st in room 115 for any female athletes interested in playing softball in the spring. Please see Coach Scott if you have any questions. Field hockey plays at home tonight against STAB. JV at 5.30 and varsity is at 7. Come out and support your team. That's all for now. Have a great day.